Alright mm -hmm. guys, welcome back to Greenverse Packing. Yeah, on this channel we show you how to pack car goods for eBay or anything that you want to ship out like presents or whatever. But uh, today we do have something that's interesting. I'm going to show you guys. We have a PS3 Slim. And we're going to use the good old side of the Home Depot Extra Large box as always. But we're only using one side today. I'm going to show you guys how to make a box out of this for the PS3. Alright. So we have our fold here, and then we also have the controllers and the wires, right? So if you look at here, you put the if you make a box for it to fit with the controllers on top, you can't possibly fold this over to cover this stuff. So you gotta be a little smart with it. And since we have enough room on here, going on lengthwise, we're gonna put the controller over here, like that. So if we put this stuff against that side there. We would mark our stuff here with the back of our cutter and we'll score it. Just so we have a fold there. And then you get over here, it fits just, just enough. So, even, you could even probably, we could probably even cheat and, and use this to make the fold over, see if that will work. See, which is good. So, sometimes it just works out that way like that and then we'll just we could always just like measure this part like this with our, with our little marker right here so you know how far that is you just kind of mark it so you kind of know that, okay that's how far it is just kind of eye it the best you can it doesn't have to be super perfect but there we go so we have this folds in like that and this part folds in that way we're just pretty lucky. I didn't think it was going to fit, but we got it to fit. We might have to, uh, it might not be the perfectly square box, but it's okay. We'll move this out of the way. So we're going to score this way. This is going along with the grain. So we could cheat. If you're going against the grain, you might have to score, but since we're going with the grain, you could just kind of like score a little bit there and just cheat because, and follow the grain, the line of grain. It won't be perfect though. Follow it up like that. So you have that part there. Spin this around. Do the same thing with this side. Kind of mark it a little bit. Trying to get as straight as you can. This is the lazy way of doing it. If you're not used to it yet, you should just go ahead and square it like always. So, but right here, we know this is the side for our, our wires and controllers. So we'll cut right here. Cut here, cut here. On this side, we'll do the same thing. Move this out of the way. Cut here, and here. Down here, it's the same thing. So it'll bring us to a flap like that. You got my tape done. Let's try to make it, let's try to tape it. So it'll stay in place right now. Keep this on the inside so it have this for support like that. Let's move the controller gain out of the way. Same thing on this side. So you can just kind of go like that. That's for better cutting. Into this side. Okay, so we have this part right here. You can like, look, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit because it's too high right here. So what you're gonna do is, cause this is exactly how we wanted the, the height of the box to be. So he's gonna cut straight across here. Straight. There, just take that off. Just bend it back a little bit. If it gets in your way, just bend it back. Same thing here. Go all the way across here. So you have a little tub like tray stuff here. If you go down this way, you see how we're we're missing a spot. We'll just put a piece of board 
cardboard to add to it right there. So we'll put our console in. Get the air out of the bag. I'm gonna wrap it over some bubble wrap also. Place it right in here. It fits perfectly. Just gonna put some packing paper. Right on top. Just so it so loose. A little more. So what I really wanted to show you guys today was that when you're making your box and you're short like that, don't worry. There's no need to panic. You know, you can always just put... Processes. Just put something in between. Get an extra piece like that. If it's a little bit too long, just mark it. I love it. Put it on the inside. Just like that. And tape it over. Right here is it's too long leaf here, so we'll cut here. Yeah, so there's no need to panic when you're sh a little bit short on your boxes sometimes. It's just okay to just add a little piece of... That's why you keep extra cobra around sometimes. Just like that. And you just tape it on. It, it supports it the same way. So I'm going to turn this way. And I just tape some ahead of time. Just to hold. Just like that. Right at the end. And now we'll go sideways. Just tape right over that, that open seat. Just so uh, everything will be good. And pretty much there you go. You have a boxed up PS3. So we have this stuff that's so uh, there's an AMF dumbbell. Like one pound only. Uh one pound you can ship first class still. But it's just I just want to show you guys how to use the flat rate box. It's going to New Jersey, so it's gonna be a little bit more. So I'm just gonna cheat and put it right in the plastic uh, cardboard wrap it around like that even if it's a 10 pounder you could uh, still do this as long as it fits it ships so I you just put it in like that get a flat rate priority envelope just stick it in and there you go Shipping out things that are heavy, you can put in this stuff and it'll work for it. Saves you a lot of money. Like, subscribe, and share.